Hi, this is my presentation on education in ancient Greece. All levels of education are catered for both private and public schools. State-run schools and universities do not charge tuition fees, and textbooks are provided free to all students. Primary education is divided into kindergarten, lasting one or two years, and primary school spanning to six years, ages six to 12. The Greek educational system is mainly divided into three levels, primary, primary, secondary, and tertiary, with an additional post-secondary providing vocational training. In Athens, poor children did not go to school. They were needed at home, around their homes, to help their family make a living. Secondary education comprises of two stages, gymnasio, variously, variously translated as middle or junior high school, a three-year school, after which students attend Lycon, with an academically orientated high school or vocational training. The Greeks loved to learn. They believed that learning was one of the ways you could spend your time. They did not see going to school as a chore at all. They, they looked forward to chance to improve their minds. Higher ter tertiary education is provided by universities and polytechnics, technological education institutes, and ac academies, which primarily cater for the military and clergy. Educate undergraduate courses typically last four years, five in polytechnics and some technical art schools and six in medical schools. Postgraduate and um, um, MSc level courses last from one to two years and doctorates PhD level last from three to six years. In Athens, for example, boys were taught at home until they were about six years old. Then boys went to school where they learned to read and write and they learned they learned how to play a musical instrument, usually the flute or the lyre. Speaking of the lyre, this is my model of a lyre. Um, it is like it is basically like a mini harp. There are the strings, and this was one of the most. Um, it was a very used um, instrument in ancient Greece. So if you look at like pictures of ancient Greece people, then you will usually see them holding a lyre. Children in most, in most of ancient Greece started their education at age seven. In Sparta, boys were given military training from ages seven to 20 to prepare them for service in the army. In all the Greek city-states except for Sparta, the purpose of education was to produce good citizens. Children were mostly trained in music and art, literature, science, math, and politics. At the age of 18, most boys were required to join the army for two years of training. Education was very different in Sparta than it was in any other Greek, ancient Greek states. The purpose of education in any other Greek city was to produce good citizens. In Sparta, the purpose was to produce a powerful army. Greeks loved to learn, but they also wanted to, to develop their personalities and their bodies. They believed that education should make you a better person. Young children were taught to taught, taught morals to help them be a good person. Greek girls were not taught the same subject as boys. They were usually taught reading and writing, but they were not taught any other subjects. But instead, they were taught skills that would help them make good homemakers. They were taught they were taught to cook, sew, and care for children. So that is my entire presentation on education in Greece. And before I end, I'm going to show you the model, the lyre. You can see the strings. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy my presentation. Bye.